Hello, good afternoon, everyone. Good evening, good morning, wherever you're watching us from. Thank you for hopping in today. Uh, thank you for all my followers who have been following me the past few months. Um, I'm so uh, pleased and honored today to have a very special guest on my heart. Um, I have the digital business owner, Saria Haider, with me today. She is um, an online coach and uh, mentor. She is actually my personal coach, and uh, she is the reason I'm here today and um, running this successful business. So today we're going to have a chit chat with her. Uh, she is originally from Lebanon, currently living in Canada. She is a mom and a wife, and um, she's successfully running this business. Uh, Saria, would you like to introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about your background? Sure. The pleasure is mine, Sally. I'm very honored and uh, it's, the pleasure actually is mine to be on your page. Uh, and, you know, we were talking before going live um, how much I love uh, having you as a business partner and how much uh, 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 quality you offer to whoever is going to work with you. So thank you for having me, Sally. Thank uh, and thanks for everyone who's watching. I'm Saria. I'm a mom of three kids. I am a full-time uh, office administrator here in Canada, originally from Lebanon, and I uh, I am a digital business owner. It's been more than a couple of years now uh, running this business, and it was really a blessing and life-changing. And we're here today to talk, uh, me and Sally, and uh, maybe uh, we will inspire someone or answer some questions. So thanks, Sally, for having me. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Saria. Thank you. So um, uh, we all know, of course, that um, before starting this business, you already have your um, offline business in different countries before. So yeah. uh, now after running your online business and after starting this journey two years ago, how can you compare uh, the offline business to the online business in terms of time commitment, in terms of the efforts that you need to put in, in terms of the return on investment and all that stuff? Since Amazing. Since you've done them both. <laughs> I love this question, Sally. Actually, as yes, uh, Aladdin and I, my husband, actually, we run this business, me and my husband, Aladdin, and uh, we, before immigrating to Canada, we, we, yeah, we moved to different countries, uh, and that really was enrich enriching. Uh, we started our business in Lebanon, then, you know, uh, we went to Dubai and we expanded to China, and it was really doing great. It was amazing, an offline business for sure. And then when uh, we started having kids we had to make the decision of immigration you know for the the, the better future for our kids um yeah. so we had to sacrifice a very 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 successful online uh, offline business in china right we couldn't uh, we couldn't uh, transport it with us it was really a hard decision but we had to make our family a priority and then that gave us a lesson that if you, i want to put efforts and work hard on something or uh, grow something i have we have to switch our mindset to to look into in the online space even though we had zero experience even though we are newbies right but we believe that there should be a way right uh, yeah. talking about efforts and talking about uh, time sally and talking about uh, return on investment time wise definitely it's not comparable because in a brick and mortar business you have a very limited market right if you open in a yes. physical physical location you can reach out to this you know, a physical location, you know, the clientele will be just, you know, people who live around you or nearby this physical location. Yes. And we, if you want to sell anything, it's going to be, we have just, you know, 24 hours a day to put our offer, you know, if I want, if you want to make calls or, you know, to talk to people or whatever, 24 hours a day to put your message, you know, it's like you will have limited uh, um, amount of person to offer this service or this product, right? Yes. But in the online space, due to the, to the automation that we have, we can expose our offer or our service 24-7 uh, in the in the global market, right? So it's yes. not comparable. Yeah, like the sky is the limit if you can, uh, uh, if you have a good product or a good service to offer, that's talking about time and that's not consuming your, your time because uh, the system when it works on a, on automation it will does big lifting for you right so yes. that's about time efforts definitely there's efforts in, in anything that you can uh, you you have to establish so there is nothing that comes easy or you know get rich really scheme but again you're not uh, limited to a location you're not you have a big responsibility on your own a business you can't leave it to anyone you have to be present Mm -hmm. Whatever, even if you need to go on a vacation and you are a business owner, you need to think how to securely, you know, leave this location without, you know, losses. While in the online space, 
you can take your business with you, right? So you can carry it with you anywhere. Exactly. And that's the beauty of the flexibility. Talking about the return invest of investment all depends on actually, Sally, uh, uh, the opportunity itself. Like, for example, if I can compare, if I want to start a business here in Canada, you, everyone knows, or in the States where you live, Sally, the overhead are huge, right? The rental, the hiring people, uh, preparing the insurance. decoration, right? Insurance, everything is costly, right? So it leaves you with a very, very little margin of profit. It wasn't the case for us in China because in China the overhead wasn't that huge like here, right? Yeah. So it depends on different factor, but generally speaking, uh, definitely the online space, the expenses are less. You're not, you know, you don't have rent to pay. You don't, you don't have employee to pay. You don't have, you know, uh, uh, all this, you know, uh, taking care of your location and decorating and repairing and whatever. It's uh, it's very limited. So the, the margin of profit that will be left after you you put the expenses, uh, it's, gonna, it's, it's really high. It's going to be higher. higher. Yeah, yeah, definitely. It's not comparable. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's awesome. That's awesome. And um, have you always had this um, entrepreneur mentality or you had to switch? Because I know you're still an employee and we all are like, especially yeah. like just very few of us start as like a full time in their digital business. So all of us like start from a, being an employee. So have you always had this entrepreneur mentality or you just grew this over time? Well, honestly, I I am raised in a house. My my father is uh, himself is an entrepreneur, is a business well, was always a business owner. So I have I was raised already seeing that you know uh, living that in our, in our in our house. But I when I graduated from university, it was more like I have to learn from others. I want to I have to go work and chase a promotion, you know, and grow in a big company, you know, just to prove myself like you know I'm successful. I, yeah. I I had the, the 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 dream of you know having something for me, but I wouldn't I didn't expect that it will start early with me, right? I, I thought it's gonna take me more years, and it took me. And uh, thanks for Aladdin, and my husband, who who really has this you know um, uh, this mindset of business owner. He pushed this whatever I have on an early stage, right? He pushed mm -hmm. this on an early stage, uh, and honestly what you can earn Sally for working for yourself like when we were working in uh, Lebanon or Dubai or China or even here when I came to Canada I had also my own spa right so I know what I can what you can gain when you work for yourself you will be your own boss or a business owner so I had it yes but I am I then I choose to work and yeah I'm still an employee when I came to here I found that it's really hard the overhead are huge and if I'm, I'm going to start any business. That means I have to commit my time. Yes. And for me, time was number one priority because, again, we have to travel to check after our parents. I didn't want to be... It's not like you're, you're building a business that's going to consume your time and you're in your home country where you are surrounded by your extended family, right? I thought, okay, if I'm going to invest all these huge amounts you know any business here in canada like not less than hundred fifty thousand or two hundred thousand to start right an yeah. offline business so when i when you invest those amount that means you have to commit time and make it happen and no one can do it for you so it's a big commitment so i thought to myself no you know what i'm gonna work in a school that gives me time flexibility already because we have christmas break and summer break and i'm gonna find something that doable along with my case that i can grow it while, while still working and then decide for myself what really i know i want from life and i enjoy working for now because it gives me time of flex also to go out i'm a very social person so you know to meet people on a daily basis you know to just be around people not you know just with the laptop 24 yeah. 7. so yeah that's really smart <laughs> that you that you can have both like you can have your business running alongside um, another job, uh, and you just have the flexibility. Like if you want to give it, give it up, at least you have the flexibility and you have to like, you know, work your time around your job. Like, it's not like that's sticking out exactly. of your, of your online business. So that's really smart that you can keep them both. Like, yeah, just good for you. Exactly. <laughs> that's, that's amazing. I wasn't expecting actually when I started, we were talking like my coach that time was talking about a couple hours a day and I'm like, Hmm, I don't think so, but you know what? It's been a couple of years and uh, I'm working with more than 50 people now and still, you know, a couple hours are enough for me. So I'm still holding on my, you know, stable income. Uh, it's a blessing to have this system. It's really a blessing.
Yes. Like, yes. and two hours, like when people think, okay, like two hours, like I don't have, even like when I run my business, like I don't have to have the two hours, like as one shot, like, you know, I split them. Like sometimes I check, like, you know, if I want to send emails or like check something before I go to work and then I have my lunch break, I can just catch up on any messages or anything. And then at the end, when you go home, you can like literally just work for an hour, you know? So it's oh, not that hard, but many people start that they have to think that they have to be dedicating like you know two or three hours and they're just not doing anything if you split you split them throughout the day you can work around it and that's the yes. beauty of it no, I I cool. yeah. <laughs> yeah 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 exactly and you know sometimes it takes it takes you five or ten minutes it takes me five or ten minutes during my lunch break you know i'm like just eating swirling on my phone and then i'm helping someone or i'm closing a deal right yeah it's not more than that but we if you collect the, the the time during the day it's gonna be a couple of hours but it's around your your schedule so that's that's amazing that's the beauty of it salam najat thank you for tuning in um so saria so now like your um your group is bigger like i'm part of your group and now you're managing around like maybe 50 digital business owners and it can get really overwhelming and sometimes can get out of the hook so how do you keep yourself like, you know, on track and how do you, like, how does the automation benefits you? That's a very good question. Being organized, <laughs> number yeah. one, it's really important. And, you know, being like, I'm already, I, uh, in, uh, when you work in administration, your brain will be programmed, you know, you're very, you're very yes. organized, you know, you, you management. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, and, you know, Alhamdulillah, I was, I feel I like, I was capable to to I, I'm lucky to have a group of people that they were we 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 established this bond, they click together, we work as you know as a team, like all for one, and this is very important. Uh, um as a coach, I believe that leading my example is the way to help anyone because if you set the good example, you will pave the way for for people, you know, to 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 follow the steps or to see, you know, what to, to succeed, right? Yes. And when you're available and you're present, like I, I feel like building the link between those people, it's hard because we work all together as well. I'm not, you know, this. I owe this success for those people as well, right? So that helps time-wise, and the automation on the back end is is holding all, you know, the communication for me. I don't have to worry about, you know, writing emails. I don't have to worry about, you know. Uh, going one-on-one -on -one for people because as mentioned we expose our service we advertise globally right so i can't manage even if i'm the super organized woman without yeah. this automation right so there's a big part that the system takes care of it and i'll be, I, i'll do the rest which is you know being present for myself and for others to help and uh, grow together yes perfect and um, now for like, you've been a coach for quite a while now. And um, I know that anyone of uh, anyone in our team, any member who have like a, a buyer, they usually book the coaching call with you, of course. So what kind of like the main objections or like the main fears of the buyers when they, when you have them on the coaching call that they are, they are kind of like interested in the business, but they are afraid or like they are just, they have obstacle or whatever it is what 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 are the main one or two things yeah well uh sally oh my god i love your questions it's uh you know the the internet is really new like it's it's not been a long time right uh and unfortunately there is bad and good things in it right there is people mm -hmm. who come came okay, there's a lot of people who talk to me that they unfortunately got you know uh, scammed with another opportunities you know promoted or and they weren't they didn't do their due diligence in the appropriate way to to distinguish you know the what's appropriate what's legit from what's a scam right so they come skeptical and scared of the online space itself right yes. but uh on the other hand we have all the tools in the online space to to search anything to search to search if any website is secure if the payment is secure uh, for us, for example, people who, you know, join us can pay, you know, when, when they take the next step after watching the web webinar through PayPal, right? PayPal, everyone knows that PayPal is secure, secure the payment for anyone. Uh, so if it wasn't, uh, if it wasn't a community with a good reputation, we wouldn't be able to, uh, to uh, connect with PayPal, right? Yes. Uh, I understand those fears and also other, uh, the second fear that they have changing the, the current the change is always fearful right like mm -hmm. we get so 
relax in our comfort zone. And like, if you want to change your current, I know that you are an HR professional, right? Maybe you yes. will see a good opportunity out there and then you see, oh, that's look lucrative. Let me check it out. Hmm. But what if, what if the boss is not good? What if I will not master the new skills? What if, you know, there's some fears that hold you maybe from applying to another opportunity or or uh, even in marriage, right? Or like we are taking this step, what if this guy is not good? We always, when we start anything new in our life, any new life event, there is fear and here the same yeah. people come with fear like how do i guarantee that i'm gonna succeed right uh how i'm gonna get guarantee like i'm gonna get your results right but honestly we all have the tools the same training the same tools and it it takes just you know this first step like for me for example i love to go to the gym i want i know that i have to do sports but sometimes it takes me oh my god oh no i would love the feeling of staying with my coffee cup you know on, and watching a movie but when I just push myself a little bit, you know, put my own running shoes and put my, you know, outfit and then go to the gym, I feel so good about it. Oh my God, I needed that. It's distressed me. I feel like energetic, right? It took me just yes. one one decision. So that's that's what I mostly face. And I tell people, you know what? Ask yourself if you're fearful. Ask yourself, okay, what this fear is gonna, how this fear has helped me in the few past years and how it's gonna help me in the few uh, coming years, right? Uh, if you find the answer, I think you will find the way. Yes, because yeah. the people is the only, like the, the human being joining is the only variable in the equation. Everything yes. else is the same. I remember on our coaching call before I started, like I asked you one question. I told you, Saria, what is it that will make me fail in this business? And you didn't even think twice. You told me you, you are the only reason. Yeah your business your business gonna fail if you didn't you know put the effort or the time in it or the passion in it you are the only reason everything else is set you up for success definitely definitely so yeah and what is um like your secret recipe for succeeding like <laughs> i mean there, there is a bunch of skills out there that we all have to like i'm still like few months in the business and i'm still overwhelmed with the change and like even my personal development but there are quite few skills that are really crucial so what is your secret recipe you as a person what are like uh, if you get to pick like two or three of these skills that stands out for you well sally i i am a person i when i want something i put something in my mind i want it i never give up first like i believe in anything in life if there's anyone who could succeed in anything in life there is no way someone else cannot succeed they just not need to learn the skills uh, I'm not a, that person that believes in luck, right? Mm -hmm. Even, you know, those who win the Lotto Max, uh, if they didn't buy this ticket, they won't win this Lotto Max, right? They took yeah. action, right? There's no luck in, in anything in love, uh, life. Well, well, oh my God, okay, I'm not, this, this thing is not working for me. It's my bad luck. Uh, and I don't cry on that. I don't sit and cry. I will, I always address, uh, I accuse myself. Okay, sorry, it's not working. What's your next move? What's your lacking on? Uh, what are you willing to do to figure out what's what's your lacking on? And I keep trying, and I fall, and I, then I stand back, and I fall, and I keep trying until I find. And this is how you learn. You learn from your yeah. mistakes, right? In everything in life, you don't have to give up. If you have big dreams, if you have to to to, uh, to pursue something and you know create something from yourself, you need to fall. You need to fall and fall because with every failure you're gonna learn something that will grow you uh, as a person and uh you will avoid those failure be in, in later steps in life right yeah so i don't give up i uh, i i i try to work on myself and i'm still working on myself and i i, I believe no one knows it all right we all lack our knowledge of course you know, we need always to you know educate ourselves and uh, i keep trying and i follow people who inspire me I I watch them closely. I watch. I, I I try to find what's in there, what they, those are those skills that they worked on. Uh, those people who paved the pace for me for the past for me as well, right? I follow that uh, path, and then I I I get what I put into it, right? Yes, that's amazing. That's amazing. <laughs> that's a perfect combination, actually. And just even I I even learned. I've never had. A mentor in my life before like before joining this business i mean i would look up like maybe to my parents as role models but that's pretty much it like you know yeah. but jumping into this business like and you have a lot of successes and a lot of you know like 
you know, successful business owners and you just like you pick who you want to follow closely or like, you know, like having as a mentor, like just seeing them succeeding and like what what are they doing to reach yeah. there? Yeah. It's, it's really like, yeah, it's uh, I think it's just uh, amazing to have this opportunity and you can just be that close and you can see their work and you can see because yeah. in, in, on our group, like you can see all of their achievements. So yeah. that's it, it really blows my mind. Yeah. And because we are human beings, Sally, we always have anyone, even successful people, had moments where they self their self-doubt, what is it us? You know, is it we did something wrong? You know, you know, sometimes yeah. you blame yourself in any situation. So the mentor is there there to remind you that you're capable, you're awesome, to clean the space for you. You know, you clean this mass that you sometimes create in your brain by yourself talking mm -hmm. uh, to put you on the right track again. It's, it's yeah. really it's really helpful and we are not limited to one mentor and coach we are like we are lucky to have this community like every week you know we 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 connect with those entrepreneurs who share their tips their tricks and we learn from them they are coaches as well they are experts in this field so that's why we 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 are unstoppable sally <laughs> yeah we are unstoppable i yeah. agree hi noel thank you thank you for watching um so uh sorry i just had one uh last question for you like uh, knowing that you are busy mom of three and running this digital business and um a full-time employee like so how does like a typical day in your life looks like like what do you what do you do we just need people to see like that it's really doable by any normal person even if you're a mom and you're busy and you have especially that you're an immigrant too like you don't have as we said earlier you don't have your family around like your your mom or your sisters or like you know family members to help you you're still capable of running this business successfully so how does a typical day in your life looks like well uh i'm an ordinary people like everyone right uh, right uh, morning time i assure that i prepare everything uh before going to work and i check on my business like maybe 10 to 15 minutes before leaving the house just to see if there's anything that you know need an urgent uh, action you know just to help someone uh, there and then uh, go to work spend my day at work uh uh and then uh, during you know that i try to organize myself to finish as much as possible while i'm outside of the house because time also with my kids is really really precious right so yeah. during my lunch break sometimes you know i just check on my business i follow up on stuff like that and mm -hmm. uh that will reduce the amount of time that when i go back come back to ha my house you know like today you know like we ha i have this uh, beautiful go life with you sally it's part of <laughs> what i do for my business right uh so that's what we, we've been like 20 minutes and then once done i'm done for today right i i will spend the rest of the time with my kids so i try to you know combine everything together in order to have some you know time when i come back with my kids uh because uh this is what counts the most <laughs> at the yeah. end I think this is one of the biggest whys for, for everyone who has family. Like, it's just yeah. that you wanted the time flexibility. And as you said, the time that we spend with our family, like our parents, our kids, our spouses, it's really precious. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, totally. Yeah. And that's what brought us. And that's the most common reason, Sally, when I talk to people, uh, fathers or mothers online, you, you know, on the coaching call, uh, the, the, most, the most common reason is, you know, uh, being tired of this cycle, we all run, you know, after, you know, uh, one income or two income and still not enough. The, the, the life is really demanding and mm -hmm. we feel like we're missing on those time. And people really want to, especially after the pandemic, they really want to stay on, you know, to work online and, you know, stay with their family. They value because they saw with the first, you know, problem, first pandemic, all the employers laid, laid, even if they were the most competent, competitive person, you know, in the company, they be, being glad of. You know, people, yes. big for companies like uh, Microsoft or like the biggest company led off people who are really qualified and uh, generate really high income. They didn't, you know, um, doubt twice to, you know, to take the decision out, you know, within within hours, they just inform people, sorry, we don't uh, need your service anymore. So we are just numbers. Sorry. Exactly. When we work for an employer, I mean, it's not like we do it's not like there's no value in our jobs there is a value and i'm sure everyone does something or serve others like we serve yeah. the community but still at at the end of the day they look at their like you know like their profits if they yeah. see they are hit you are just a number they would look yes. at like laying off uh the employees furloughs or like you know that stuff so there is no 
for me, COVID was the big eye opener that there yeah. is nothing called job security. Yeah. Yeah. So I like what I do. I like what I do, but I know it's not it's not hundred percent secure for me until I retire. Yeah. 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 And the power, Sally, in what we're doing, the power of community, because you know, Aladdin tried before starting this online business. He tried Amazon, and they was really totally against it because I I saw how much time consuming it was and how much you're you're relying on the platform itself. I'm not saying that Amazon is not great, but the percentage of people who are earning you know big amounts from Amazon are maybe two percent or three percent. Those who are the first, the people who are you know doing great, and it's it takes a lot of efforts and you're you're always connected to that platform meaning that you don't have this networking with your clients okay the clients go through this platform you can't build a long-term relationship with those clients uh at all and you're always connected to the supplier meaning that if the supplier doesn't ship on time and you have no stock whatever efforts you put in the, your business and you build it you're gonna lose it one day add to that if this platform decide that one day this product is not allowed to be sold on our website your business is off yes. right it's out of the market mm -hmm. uh, and the algorithm the way it works you might be selling specific products and then it will show on the page number 10 you know to people because they always see the best seller right so okay. the, the image is, sh is shiny from the outside but when you go inside it's really hard here in this business, the beauty of it, Sally, that you are connected directly with the retailer and you are building a community. You are building you are this network with your clients. You have them for life. You're communicating one on one with them. And yes. that's very powerful. That's not going to stop only here. Yes. Yes. You're building life relations, you know, yeah. and yeah. you see them, you see them grow and, you know, like, and they empower other people and whatever you pass down yes. to them, they pass it on to their team. So that's. Yes that's amazing yeah i've been looking into amazon i haven't done it but before having this business i was looking into it and just thinking about the hassle and like the, the logistics of having a product and like just yeah. the the competition out there and like even the refunds you know like there is a lot yeah. of hassle like some people are just like angry customers for no reason they just yeah. want to, to refund or something. i yeah. said like no way i'm not gonna do this yeah. this is a hassle yeah uh, even if you're gonna make money out of it it's just that yeah. it's very time consuming and and it yeah. demands a lot of effort so yeah. yeah we're very blessed actually with our with our digital business and we encourage people like you know fence sitters or people who just look at you know the businesses and just look from outside and they are so afraid to not even to jump in they are so afraid even to check it out yes just check it out you know Don't be afraid. Like we're real people look at sally she's here she's an amazing mentor uh she believed i believed we've been we've been there we've been like you we've been watching other people right before taking action before being in this community before starting our online business but we 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 do, did our due diligence right and we the webinar was free so we watched it. we were serious we didn't want information for free that means we didn't reach to our you know to the those people who were promoting the online business tell us what you're doing without you know doing our part and watching the webinar because the webinar is 90 minutes right of your time yeah. so we can't summarize when you communicate with Sally you can't summarize 90 minutes in a brief message you need guys to see to decide because it might even not for you not what you're looking for so why wasting her time on and your time this is in respect of both time right then yes. after the webinar even the uh, uh to take action and pay the 149 dollars it's an amount that give you a trade period for 30 days to see from the inside everything and decide for yourself if you want to start your online business sally will be your mentor she will be, you will be in a great hands and you will she will help you through the you know the, the your journey and if you don't like the opportunity simply ask for a refund so absolutely nothing ha uh, nothing to you know to lose but knowledge to gain right that's very true yeah well, uh, I would like to thank you, Saria, so much just for having uh, the time and making the time to be on my page. Like, really, I'm so grateful for that. And I was so happy to have you. Hi, and uh, for having me. <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> and I wish you have a nice weekend and spending more time with your precious family. Thank so you. Thank you, you so much. Same to you, dear. Enjoy it. And uh, thanks for everyone who was watching. I hope that uh, you could benefit from the information. Thank you. Thank you, Saria. Have a good have a have a great weekend. Same to you.